Welcome to another episode of Business Buzz here in the town of North Hempstead where we're going to be home remodeling with several of our businesses right here in the town. I'm here at Anthony's World of Floors in Port Washington, town of North Hempstead, where we're going to be looking at several of their floors and where we can install them. Speaking of installing, I'm going to be doing one of their jobs. So we're here with Anne Marie at Anthony's World of Floors here in Port Washington in the town of North Hempstead. And I'm so thrilled to be here. Thank nice you so much you. for having us. This is amazing. You have so many different types of flooring. Can you tell me a little bit about how the business started? Who, who's Anthony? My dad, my dad. My dad started it um, after working for 18 years for another company. He asked for a small raise. They said no, he quit, went home and this was born. And how long has this uh, uh, establishment been in this physical location? 43 years. 43 years. Yes. 44. 44. 44. Okay, grab that other year. <laughs> so give me the whole tour. Show me what is the best of the best for the different locations in someone's home. Okay. In the hardwood world we have solid and we have solid where the wood goes all the way through or we have engineered flooring where you can actually it has let whoop it has layers. Layers are going to give us the opportunity of more dimensional stability. We can put that on concrete where in the past we couldn't do that because you can't nail this into concrete. That's a solid. Oh, and it's heavy too. Yes. And I see that there are a variation of colors and grains and, and what do you think is like the most popular floor today? Let me show you something. Popular, we're a world of choice. Grain, that's maple. This is oak. They're both natural. There's no color involved. They take natural um, polyurethane, clear polyurethane, and cover two different types of wood. You have the wide grain here, where the, the, wide, the grain I'm talking about are these lines. Maple has more of a modern look, very fine line. So I, I define that with a customer. What are we looking for? Are we looking for more grain, or are we looking for a modern, sleek, clear look? So then we go for color. Are you looking for a, a redder, more orangey, dark? Now we're doing a lot of very, very dark floors. Maintenance problem. <laughs> oh, mamma mia. As soon as dust falls, you see it on dark. So I truly try to discourage that. We also have very rustic. Here's some more rustic. These are natural oil. You want wood look, but you can't have it because it's in a basement. So we go over here. We go over this way. <laughs> if you look at the side here, that's just vinyl in there. So if Holy you put cow. this in a bathtub, it's not going to hurt it. Y do people put this in bathtubs? No. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> like, let's try the bathtub. No. The reason I say that is it'll survive water. Understood. From the non-flooring person here. Okay. okay. So now we can have vinyl in a basement. Okay, unfortunately, maybe the basement might flood. This is a click system, so now they can be picked up, dried out, and put back. It could be reused. Really? Okay, where you can't have that. Real wood is going to be affected by water. So you have your shags, you have your, your cut pile, just solid. You have tweed, plenty of options, what patterns. What is most popular for someone's bedroom? Or bedroom? In, yeah. My very, my very What is your favorite? Choice. My favorite is Miami. Where is Miami? Bop, 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 bop. Here it is. Use the flat of your hand and feel that. Oh wow, it's really soft. So yeah. there's a difference in the in the material. Yes. Uh, I don't know. It's the way it's constructed. Is it pillow? And they do they do something else to it to just they, today. Really soft. So do you find that your customer base is mostly people from throughout the town of North Hempstead, or does that surprise? mostly? Really? Mostly. Okay. Um, we do, like I said, um, people will leave Port Washington, move elsewhere and we'll follow them there, or their aunts and uncles from out of town. I would say most of our business comes from, um, what's it called, referral. We do, we do paper um, marketing and you know newspapers, um, the websites and stuff like that, but really the It's best, mostly people from Long Island. It's people who say, go to Anthony's. Well, there's we, a reason why you've been around for as many years as you have. It's our goal. 
It's my father's name at risk. There's one more room of product in the back. Let's go. Okay, this is our vinyl room. We have sheet vinyl products. We have vinyl tile. Vinyl tile is individually placed. That's a tile, that's a tile, that's this a tile. This is really nice. What is this used for? I, like, I see anywhere. this in a kitchen. I don't kitchen. know. Do it can people, go anywhere. Really? Sure, sure. My brother, Bobby Garofalo, is the installer of vinyl. This is my niece, Nicole. She my helps daughter. me in the office and in sales. <laughs> this is Richie. This is Joe. Joe installs the carpet. Just say hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Well, this is great. Thank you all so much for having me here. I really appreciate it. And I think I'm going to be going out and installing some flooring. Who am I doing that with? Me. I'm ready. Me too. Safety goggles. Safety, Safety goggles. goggles. Gloves, which I stole from Bobby, and the hard hat, because we are going to be ripping up this floor right now. Ready? Correct. I'm Here ready. Here we go. Do it. So this is actually really funny. So, so Bobby over here was wearing these gloves, and I said, I don't have gloves. Gloves, really. Gloves. I don't have gloves. So he gave me his, and as he was saying, they're only two days old. This two days old, he just bought them, and you can see how hard this man works for Anthony's flooring. See if you can take that little piece off. This little piece right here? Yep. Do it. Okay. Did you, like, pre-do this for me? <laughs> no. That's just the way it came out. We still got to take up that one, too. That'll be harder. This one? Yeah. Should I... Oh, look at that. They didn't nail any of those down. This is good. This is good. I like that. You know, this is really making it look like you had the easiest job ever. Yeah, maybe ever. we should struggle a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> we should, maybe we should grunt or something. Let me get the garbage pail. Let me just do one of these. Go ahead. Bang away. Ready? Do you wear knee pads? Hand. Yes. I, I actually... You I have use, knee pads on? I, I, I buy these pants. Yeah. I slit the top. They're called double knee pads. A uh, double knee uh, jeans. Yeah. I slit the top and then I slip knee pads inside. So you have built in knee pads I in here? I have built in knee pads. I don't have mine right now. They're brand oh. new pants. I haven't, I haven't done <laughs> it yet. They're down in the truck. Okay. But yes, I keep, I wear knee pads. After 44 years on the job, got to protect the knees. I am woman. Hear me roar. <laughs> so yeah. out we go with this. Out we go. I'm not going to fall through anything here? No, it's nice and stable. We'll okay. take this downstairs right out to the trash area. The next part is, is that we... The next part is sweeping the floor. Sweeping and then we the floor, cleaning it up. Open up the boxes and... Uh, prepping it for the new floor. What is that? Right? And did I just do it in the, in the right order? Sweeping, uh, yes, that's vacuuming, it. cleaning, prepping. Prepping and then installing. And then installing. In the presence of talent here, we have not only part owner, full-time installer, Son of Anthony, but but also, you know, singer extraordinaire. Right, Bobby? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> I guess so if you have to say on. it. You oh, shucks. So you, <laughs> You're just saying it because it's so, true. No, so, so <laughs> what, are, what are some other jingles? Um, let's see, we used, um, I was big into Disney and uh, Glenn Miller tunes. We did uh, uh, the first one, I guess, what was I, was it, what did I start saying? Oh, wait, uh, it's a world of carpeting. It's a world of hardwood floors. It's a world of vinyl, too. It's a world at Anthony's. I mean, you know, things like that. <laughs> He's in a lot of trouble. I'm going to really be like Googling this. Oh, now. thank you very check much. Check it out on YouTube. <laughs> Anthony's World of Floors in the town of North Hempstead. You should really check them out. This is going to be an amazing project when it's done. We're going to start sweeping, vacuuming, cleaning, prepping, and then installing the new floors. Did I get that that's right? That's right, that's right. Anthony's World of Floors. Welcome to Business Buzz. We're here today in Albertson Hardware in the town of North Hempstead. We're gonna be talking about different types of projects, home remodeling improvements, all right here, Albertson Hardware. Stay with me.
We're here at Albertson Hardware with co-owner Jamie. Thank you so much for having Business Buzz here today. Oh, you're welcome. This is unbelievable. So how long has Albertson Hardware been in existence? Uh, over 19 years. 19 years. Yep. You're a lifelong resident of the town of North Hempstead? I am. I live in Albertson. That's great. Family. Yep. We have uh, two kids. Both went to Herricks High School. Oh. And now Penn State. Uh, one's a Penn State graduate and one's still in. Fantastic. And we are standing in front of a, a pretty unique wall. Uh, I know that you had been discussing. This is quite a display, but can you talk about some of the things that are, are above uh, the machinery and stuff that you sell here? Well, since we moved to this new location, uh, the uh, catchphrase line of our business is the return of the neighborhood hardware store. Um, we wanted to bring back the feel of somebody going into a hardware store in the 1800s. Now, what do you sell here exactly? We sell everything a big box store sells, uh -huh. but with the hardware, the old hardware style of giving service and selling the product together. So when someone comes and buys a plunger or a drill, we could explain how to use them the right way. And we spend a lot of time with the customers to give them feedback on how to use the tools and parts and how to apply them into their jobs. And loyalty. I mean, you must have a lot of return customers. We do. We have uh, the nearest surrounding towns. Everybody comes to us. Uh, we're a very busy company, and we take care of a lot of people. And you also do outside barbecue, grills. We do. Everything from the small ones to the real big, impressive ones, right? The, the big party Weber grills. Oh. You have the gold series, the silver packages, uh, we have all the smokers, um, and we sell pretty much everything that you would need for an outdoor barbecue here. Okay, so can you take me for a little walk around your store? Sure. We'll go that way and sure. we'll see what we have. First, we have our unique way of displaying things. We have our old ropes and shelves right there. Yeah. Right away, <laughs> right away, it says, please do not touch. <laughs> this is an old-fashioned drill press uh, that is still in working condition. Um, basically, how it works is this, this basically turns the wheel, which turns the gear, and which turns then the drill bit. Is that how it really used to... That's how they is used this to drill every hole. Is this fake or is this a real old-fashioned? This is a real drill press probably built in the early 1800s. Okay, and so if we go this way, one of the other unique things that I had wanted to point out were these incredible, I guess, aisle signs above. Locator signs. Locator signs. Um, it, they look like they're made out of nails. They are, they're made out of each sign uh, is drill pressed into the wood and then each sign takes approximately uh, 500 nails each. So, and each one is individually put in. This is not a nail, this is a screw. That is a bolt. <laughs> How do I know? Um, goop, don't know what this is, but it sounds sort of fun. That's an adhesive. <laughs> it's an adhesive, goop, okay. If I were to come in here thinking that I was able to handle a certain project on my own and then become extremely overwhelmed by the process in which I would need to do it successfully, I could literally walk next door and go from Albertson Hardware to Handyman Express. That's correct. And hire someone to do it for me. Yep, you would just come from this aisle right into right the office where Colleen is, set up an appointment, and in a couple of days we'll be there. And within a couple of days after that, the job gets done. And, and actually, you have a third company, correct? Well, we have our, our, our other company is the construction company, which is called 915 Construction and Design. And that's something that we build uh, very uh, high-end construction and homes. So Jamie is the co-owner of all three businesses, Albertson Hardware, Handyman Express, 915 Construction, but you also have a partner. That's correct. And that is who? John Keffes. John Keffes. John Keffes started with me when he was 13 years old as a helper in the store. And to this day now, he is my partner in okay. all three businesses. That's great. So between the two of them, you've got your entire lives covered. Tool, Tool time. time with Kim. Handyman Express, wonderful place in the town of North Hempstead. If you ever need anything for your home, 
Handyman Express. So tell us a little bit about Handyman Express and what you do, what you don't do, who calls you, for what? Well, the Handyman uh, was established about 10 years ago and people would always come into the hardware store asking me for cards saying, you have an electrician, do you have a plumber, do you have somebody to put up moldings, do you have somebody to put in a light bulb? And over time, we figured out that there was a need to fill this void. Yes. So we established the Handyman Express. And basically, we do jobs from screwing in a light bulb to now building houses. Really? And we basically take care of everybody's needs uh, in the house for jobs that never can get done by a larger contractor because they're not geared for it, and we are. So, so for example, what are some of the most typical uh, jobs that you get called for? through Handyman Express. Okay, we go to someone's house and they give us a list of 10 things. One, um, install this faucet. Two, put up this trim, hang a door. Can you fix this cabinet? This is like a honeydew list. Yes, it is. Right? So it's yes, a it honeydew is. list. So I would just literally, I that because that sounds exactly like something I would do. Yep. Make a list, they would hand it to you, you'd get it done. And then when I get there, they give me the list, we go through all the jobs, we either give them an estimate or we charge by the hour, either or, and we take care of the list within a, a couple of days. We're gonna put together a kitchen sink and cabinet and a top, which we're using on a job for a person that needed a laundry room makeover. Really? Yes. Perfect. And now we're gonna make it. So, vanity or sink or both? Kitchen cabinet. Neither. <laughs> Kitchen cabinet, what are we doing with this? Okay, this is a, an assembly cabinet where you put things together uh -huh. and they all clip together with special clips. And right now we're gonna put the front face on. We've already uh, put these corners on and now we're gonna put the front face. Okay. So that's gonna clip right into there. Up, oh, down a little bit, all right. So it goes right in there. Is it supposed to go in? Ah, I got it. Okay. Did you get your side? Now you're going to put the screwdriver and then you're going to screw that together in one full turn. Righty tidy. Perfect. Sink. This is the next part of what we have to do. So we have our, our laminate countertop. Okay. Wait, I have a question. What is this stuff underneath? It looks like it's paint or something. This is an insulation that's sprayed on the sink so it doesn't make noise or as much noise. When, when the, the water hits it, ah. it insulates it a little bit. Interesting. Yep. Who knew? Well, so now, you, you probably know. Now we're going to take this sink and we're going to make a template because we have to cut the hole in the countertop. Okay. So we're going to put the sink down upside down and wait. with okay. our blue tape that you had before right behind you and we tape around it so we know where to cut with our jigsaw. Take the sink off now that everything's already marked. And we're gonna take our cordless drill and we're gonna drill what's called a pilot hole. Okay. In there, and you could re drill that hole there. To make sure it's facing forward. Make sure it's facing forward. And that's it. Oh, wait, and you're a light just gonna goes drill on. through. A light goes on. Yeah, it's a little bit of a pilot light. Okay. And now we're gonna take a jigsaw and now we're gonna cut uh, the sink out after we plug it in. Because we have to plug it in. So now we're gonna let Kim do some. So you're basically just gonna follow that blue line right to the end. Right along here? Right, right along, along that line. Does the person who's getting this sink know that, that they're having it done by a professional like Yes, they, they, they soon will. Okay. <laughs> so and you're not gonna put your hands near there. I just realized that you should not put your fingers in front of the blade. Right. So I can hold it behind. Yes, you can. Well, wow, was that? that was about perfect. And I think I may have a new handyman employee. And you heard it here first, folks. All right, so we're going to cut the rest of this. And in TV magic, we're going to have the sink ready to put in. We're ready. It's upside down, but trust me, it looks beautiful. <laughs> OK, so now we bring this to sit on top of that. Now what we can do is we can take tape off. OK, we're taking the tape off. We'll take the countertop here. And we'll take the sink here. Put the top in. Drop it in. Look at that. It's perfect. And now and we I have our it, countertop. Made it myself. 
That's a great job by cutting the hole in there. I, you know what? I learned from the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. This oh, you're welcome. Great. Handyman Express. Thank you. Jamie. Thank you. Welcome to another episode of Business Buzz, right here in Showcase Kitchens and Showcase Baths. One of their phenomenal top of the line bathtubs. I really wish I had this in my own bathroom. But in today's episode, we're gonna be walking around Showcase Kitchens and Showcase Baths to discuss some of the things, top of the line appliances uh, for the bathroom and also for the kitchens. And um, you're gonna enjoy it. So we're here with Maria Sergio, who's co-owner and also principal designer of Showcase Bath. Thank you so much for having me. Our pleasure. I don't. Uh, I hope you don't mind, but I made myself at home in that luxurious bathtub. Absolutely, absolutely. That's what it's there for. Well, so <laughs> if you don't mind, could you walk me around? I know that you have some phenomenal gadgets um, that really play into a very high class kind of bathroom. And I was looking at some of them on my way walking around before we started uh, filming. But I would love to be able to walk and Absolutely. talk. So, phenomenal, unbelievable. And this is one of the things that I wanted to point out because I noticed that this mirror has somewhat of a defined uh, little mirror box. Oh my goodness, look at that. For our clients that like to listen to the news or even your morning talk shows while they're shaving or makeup application, we feature a Roburn medicine cabinet that has a small TV image and you can also have sound or no TV at all. You can listen to the CNN Tinker Tape. It's really, really perfect for multitasking. Can I open this? Definitely, please. Does the television, is it built into the mirror or is it behind the mirror or? It's into the mirror. Oh, it is. So it's very smooth and you still have plenty of storage within the medicine cabinet. You have electric for razors or electric toothbrushes so that way there's no clutter on the counter. Now, do you have to be careful about how you, wait, can I touch it? Windex. Really? Absolutely. Oh my goodness, okay, yeah, it's one flat surface. That's fantastic. This is the latest and the greatest in marble textiles. There is a water jet machine that basically cuts these precise, beautiful lines within large pieces of marble as opposed to... <laughs> you can, you, <laughs> as you can do the Vanna White over here. <laughs> as opposed to the original hand clipped, which is a beautiful old world feel, but this is newer, it's sharper, it's crisper. We can do absolutely any custom image on a water jet. So another question I have, because you are the principal designer in addition to being a co-owner, um, but you are the principal designer. How long have you been doing this? Designing. I have been in interior design for... Because you look like you're about 12. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I hit the ground running right when I was in school. My professor recommended me to my first boss at a private design studio. So I have been designing for about 13, 14 years. Amazing. Now, one other thing. I know that we walked by it already, but I noticed the texture. This is actually very yes. unique. Yes. Three dimension is really really on trend right now. What, so, is, what is this material? It's statuary marble from Italy. Wow. So, so I understand that we have a pretty special commode or as I was just informed, it, a water closet, right? A yes. WC, Absolutely. British term that we're gonna go <laughs> take a look at. Absolutely. It's All fabulous. right, let's go. <laughs> Here, it seems like it has all these different lights and, and, and it moves. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> it's alive. Um, what can you, what, how did it, what did it just do? How did it know? I mean, I, okay, look, that was a ridiculous question. I know what it did. I saw it open, but how did it know I was here? So initially when you come in, I'd say within about 14 inches or so of the toilet, the seat automatically senses you and lifts up. It saves marriages every day. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine it would. It cleans the wand before every use. Oh, there's a wand that's... It's coming, it's cleaning itself. <laughs> so this is for universal cleansing, if you will, uh -huh. for rear cleansing. Yeah. Does it do dishes? 
<laughs> I mean, listen, do you have like a high demand for? We do. We actually do. Really? For master bath suites, people love it. Now that you are thoroughly cleansed yes. and, and comfortable, blow dry. How old is this technology? I would say this feature is about five years old. Really? But it's they that new. keep improving it. Improving it, absolutely. Okay, so here's the big question. How much does something like this run cost-wise? Um, this lists for about 1500 I actually don't think 1500 is that it's bad. It's not. If you're a client that would be putting in a whole separate bidet, which right. is a toilet, you would need to do plumbing, the fixtures. And also the convenience of saving space exactly. in the bathroom. So it's really an all-in-one kind of... Absolutely. A, a, is it appliance or what would you call it? I, I like to refer to it as an amenity. An amenity. <laughs> amenity. Okay. Well, wonderful. I, I now now we're gonna go next door. We're gonna go see some stuff next door. Correct. Let's have a cup of coffee. Welcome to my kitchen, <laughs> also known as Showcase Kitchens, right here in the town of North Hempstead. I was immediately drawn to this gorgeous area. And uh, as Maria eloquently said, this is like jewelry. It's, it's, it's kitchen jewelry. I mean, look how phenomenal the backs, the backsplash. I don't want to even touch it. <laughs> what, 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 you said that this, this draws people right off the street? Absolutely. It's mother of pearl, seamless, no grout joints, so it's very easy to clean and just so Pretty. I know, it's so pretty. It makes me really want to like just move right in here. This is a La Carnot range, handmade in France. And what's truly special about this piece is the center French cooktop. So as you're moving your saute pan around, you can control the temperature by placing it in these separate rings that have different settings of heat. Now, starting price range for Something like this runs in the area of about thirty thousand and up. Thirty. So uh, uh, three easy installments of ten thousand dollars <laughs> could be yours. Who would want that? <laughs> and do those open up underneath? Am I going to see something of a surprise? Or I hope there's a rack of lamb in here. Damn. <laughs> oh, so there are two of them. Yes. Yes. That is for searing a perfect piece of meat because you're never supposed to open and check your meat constantly. The French, you shut the door, you leave it alone. When it's ready, you open it up. So some of the other things that I know is over here. Yes, we have. Can I? Oh, I give it a touch. Try to open this. that cabinet. Amazing. So these cabinets, oh, look at this. This is so cute. <laughs> so these cabinets are are touch touch latch. Touch latch is the 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 I guess the way you describe it. And then you just we try to think of these little details that make everyday life just a little smoother, easy. Absolutely. I mean, carrying Absolutely. groceries, having children, crawling mm -hmm. up your legs, just it's an amazing additional convenience that really adds a certain touch of luxury. This is the latest and the greatest as far as coffee makers go because it's Wait, sits, that's a coffee maker. Absolutely, sits right on the countertop. <laughs> Looks like it's a water spout. <laughs> it's a coffee spout. <laughs> okay. It's, it's amazing because all the technology is practically and conveniently hidden with the, with the, beneath the countertop. Okay, so really the guts of the machine are hidden away. And it's controlled by an iPad. Can you do it from your iPhone as well? Yes. Probably, I would imagine. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. You can preset how you like it, how you take your coffee, the time you'd like it waiting for you, searing hot, scalding hot, whatever your pleasure. So. Holy cow. It's just grinding. Now what things. about like if I wanted milk? Can do it. Absolutely. There is a cold setting. You can adjust the temperature well, if you want it frothy. Milk? In a refrigerated canister. That's hidden back right there. Right hidden away. Yep. <gasps> Look at that. 
and it's coming. Perfect. For a perfect cup of coffee. Well, business buzz. <laughs> This is something I definitely need in my kitchen. How much does one of these things cost? About 16000 I will be having a $30,000 stove and a $16,000 coffee maker in my kitchen. Thank you so much to Showcase Kitchens and Showcase Baths for having Business Buzz here today on our home renovation show. And thank you, Maria. Our pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>